hey, you want to see how I make mouth rigs using different methods to achieve different style finishes? Well, watch the video. I share some amazing tips. It'll be a quick little uh, video about how I use different techniques and styles to achieve different finishes in my mouth rigs. So I have initial, I have my first one. Um, this one I use a switch layer to create that effect of Cartoon Network. This will be like a quick, um, when I have quick lip sync that I actually like, when you look at a character, it's not really focused on having facial expressions and all those particular details. And it's just quick. Um, you find this in most uh, cartoons on Cartoon Network. Um, where they have simple mouth rigs that just, you know, are very simple and switch layers. So you use your switch layers. I'm sure you pretty much know how to use switch layers. There are many videos on YouTube about how you can create a switch layer for your mouth rig. And hey, this is my first simple one. Mouth rig using different methods to achieve different style finishes. Um, that is the effect you get from it and also there is a script that you can use that is the the lip sync script um there's also a video on that on a different channel and i'm sure if you just type on the search menu they'll show you you will find yourself at the mind studio i believe it is and they have a script on how you use the a script for lip syncing which can make your work really easier and faster and then for my second one I combine the switch layers and sometimes I add a bone bone rig to it and then I can rig if I don't want to go inside the switch layer when I'm in a timeline and I don't want to go inside I can go and create a bone rig here using the switch changes Let's say we have a quick rig here and uh, let's say words and you can control it using a smartphone dial and we can go to the rig let's say at 6 let's say it starts um, go to 24 it starts with a closed mouth then comes there, changes to that, changes to that, and changes to that, and back at him. Add close mouth, and for the other switch, we do the other side. Um, And if you order your layers correctly, it will work as you switch over. It will work brilliantly. So if you know how the mouth works, you study the mouth and how you pronounce words, um, you'll be able to order your layers in the switch layers correctly that when they inter interpolate, um, they will do it smoothly. And then you can control your switches using phone rig. Yeah. In the timeline, you can control it using a phone rig. Instead of having to go inside and correcting them like this, editing, editing, editing. Okay. And using the lip sync. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the dialogue is a bit too complex. And you want to actually control it and this is a best a uh, good way to control it it's a good way to control your layers and then you can have more control when saying words and also you can have another rig another layer you can have another mouth layer and you can have the angry motion and you can turn it around to be for sad words when they say sad things when the character is sad you can change it to that and when the character is happy you change it to that 
you can also have a switch layer of smiles, grins, and everything of that sort. And then the last one is this one, which I like to use for my cartoons. Um, when you're doing anime style cartoons, um, Bundok style cartoons, and all those with a bit of stylized realistic um, characters. This is one I like to use a lot. Let us see how I look, Bob. This is one I enjoy using a lot. Because you can really get into there and create all your expressions as you're moving, as you're saying a word. And you can also add a smile or frown. And then automatically it continues to say the rates in your smartphone actions that you've created with a frown or it can say the word with a grin and you have a lot of control over them and of course it's all about the artwork you created your layers your artwork how you have the finish to it and then you're gonna have multiple control using a smartphone to create actions and expressions and this is one of my favorite methods that I use when doing <laughs> my my personal cartoons and the first one is one I use for multiple cartoons with lots of dialogue and that is all I just wanted to share with you about creating mouth rigs and different styles to achieve different finishes and hope um, to see yours and please do share them with me in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video when we go back to the moho tutorial manual and we continue working with that thank you see you again soon